ISO 14644 standards were first formed from the U.S. Federal Standard 209E Airborne Particulate Cleanliness Classes in Clean Rooms and Clean Zones. The need for a single standard for clean room classification and testing was long felt. After an CNIESD petition to ISO for new standards, the first document of ISO 14644 was published in 1999, ISO 14644-1. In 2000, ISO 14644-2 was published, which began the process of Fed STD 209E being cancelled. On November 29, 2001. The document was cancelled and superseded by ISO 14644-1 and ISO 14644-2. ISO 14644 is now composed of ISO 14644-1, classification of air, cleanliness, ISO, this 14644-1.2, classification of air cleanliness by particle concentration, ISO 14644-2, specifications for testing and monitoring to prove continued compliance with ISO 14644-1, ISO, this 14644-2, 2.2 Monitoring to provide evidence of clean room performance related to air cleanliness by particle concentration. ISO 14644-3 Test methods. ISO 14644-4 Design, construction and startup. ISO 14644-5 Operations. ISO 14644-6 Vocabulary ISO 14644-7 Separative Devices Clean Air Hoods, Glove Boxes, Isolators and Mini Environments ISO 14644-8 Classification of Airborne Molecular Contamination ISO 14644-9 Classification of Surface Particle Cleanliness ISO 14644-10 Classification of Surface Cleanliness by Chemical Concentration ISO 14644-12 Classification of Air Cleanliness by Nanoscale Particle Concentration Part 1 Classification of Air Cleanliness ISO 14644-1 covers the classification of air cleanliness in clean rooms and associated controlled environments. Classification in accordance with this standard is specified and accomplished exclusively in terms of concentration of airborne particulates. The document was submitted as an American national standard and has been adopted as ANSI IEST ISO 14644-1 to 1999 in the United States. Following the cancellation of Fed STD 209E, Part 2 Specifications for Testing and Monitoring to Prove Continued Compliance with ISO 14644-1 Part 2 Specifies Requirements for Periodic Testing of a Clean Room or Clean Zone to Prove its Continued Compliance with ISO 14644-1 for the Designated Classification of Airborne Particulate Cleanliness. It also specifies requirements for the monitoring of a clean room or clean zone to provide evidence of its continued compliance with ISO 14644-14, the designated classification of airborne particulate cleanliness. 
It became an international standard following the cancellation of FedEx DD209E. In the United States in 2000 it was adopted as ANSI IEST ISO 14644-2-2000. Part 3, Test Methods. This part specifies test methods for designated classification of airborne particulate cleanliness and for characterizing the performance of clean rooms and clean zones. These test methods are specified in the document for two different types of clean rooms and clean zones, unidirectional flow and non-unidirectional flow. The most important objectives of this highly referenced document are to provide an internationally common basis basis of measurement and evaluation of clean rooms and, at the same time, not to prevent the introduction of new technologies. Part 4 – Design, Construction and Startup This part specifies requirements from the design and construction of clean room and clean air devices, as well as requirements for startup and qualification, but does not prescribe specific technological nor contractual means to meet the requirements. This document is intended for purchases, suppliers, and designers of clean room installations. It was submitted as an American national standard in 2001. Part 5 – Operations ISO 14644-5 provides the basic requirements for operating and maintaining clean rooms and associated controlled environments. This standard addresses requirements that are basic to the operation of all clean rooms, regardless of the application. Topics include operational systems that must be in place. Selection and use of appropriate clean room garments. Training and monitoring of personnel and activities. Installation and use of equipment. Requirements for materials used in the clean room. Maintaining the clean room environment in a clean, usable condition conforming to design standards. Dot. This part was published as an international standard in 2004. The document was submitted as an American national standard and has been adopted as ANSI IEST ISO 14644-5-2004 in the United States. Part 6 – Vocabulary this part is an important document for any contamination control professional. This document describes all the terms and definitions in ISO 14644 and ISO 14698. In March 2008 this ISO standard recently became an American national standard. Part 7 – Separative Devices This part of ISO 14644 specifies the minimum requirements from the design, construction, installation, testing and approval of separative devices in those respects where they differ from clean rooms as described in Parts 4 and 5. Separative Devices Range from open to closed systems the limitations are application-specific requirements are not addressed. User requirements are as agreed by customer and supplier. Specific processes to be accommodated in the separative device installation are not specified. Fire, safety and other regulatory matters are not considered specifically. The appropriate national and local requirements shall be respected. Full suits are not within the scope of the standard. Dot. This part was published as an international standard in 2004. The document was submitted as an American national standard and has been adopted as ANSI IEST ISO 14644-7-2004. Part 8 – Classification of Airborne Molecular Contamination this part of ISO 14644 covers the classification of airborne molecular contamination in clean rooms and associated controlled environments. In terms of airborne concentrations of specific chemical substances and provides a protocol to include test methods, analysis and time-weighted factors within the specification for classification. This document became a standard in 2000. 
2006. It was developed by the Secretariat of ISO Technical Committee 209 IESD, Part 9, Classification of Surface Particle Cleanliness. This ISO document describes the classification of the particle contamination levels on solid surfaces in clean rooms and associated controlled environments applications, recommendations on testing and measuring methods as well as information about surface Surface characteristics are given in informative annexes. It is currently a committee draft and is not yet available as a standard.